Central, I'll say the last name. Hi, um, my name is Eunice, I'm from Hong Kong, and today I'm going to talk about my special encounters with butterflies wow. around wow. the world. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so my story started over five years ago, when I moved into my apartment, I chose a butterfly wallpaper for my bedroom. And since then, amazingly, butterflies have appeared in my life in different situations. So these are some butterflies cut out from, not on my wallpaper, but from the spare <laughs> wallpaper, okay? My, my wall is still full of uh, butterflies. <laughs> so, um, about a couple of years ago, I had a big birthday. I won't tell you how big. Um, <laughs> approaching. Titles? I decided to book a trip to Palawan, Philippines. Have you been to Palawan? No. no. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, I booked it without knowing that actually it's a rainy season in July. And my birthday is in July. So I was scattered on the first day. It was pouring. And um, I went to bed. The next day, I woke up to a sunny, beautiful morning with yellow butterflies flying outside my bedroom. I was really surprised, so I asked the locals, why are there so many butterflies? And actually, I got you from my trip um, as a souvenir. And they told me that um, actually butterflies would only appear in the rainy season. In the dry season, the butterflies are still caterpillars. So I thought, wow, I thought it's the wrong timing but it's actually the perfect timing. And I was filled with so much joy. And then um, during one winter, I decided to chase the Northern Lights. So I went to Iceland and I was so lucky. I saw the Northern Lights dancing above our heads while we were so soaking in the hot tub. It was perfect. Um, unfortunately, I had an accident towards the end of my trip. My right hand was trapped by a car door. <laughs> Completely, the door was latched. <laughs> I have a very small hand. I got my hand out. Luckily, I was able to move my fingers. But because I have first aid knowledge, I decided that I should perhaps ice my injured hand. As we were in Iceland, there was plenty of ice on the land. <laughs> so I took out a plastic bag from my backpack and I scooped some ice in a plastic bag and uh, started to ice my hand. In the evening, I went back to the hotel and guess what? I'm a very environmentally friendly person, so I tried to dry my plastic bag and reuse it. <laughs> this is the plastic bag. I cannot believe what I saw. There is a girl's face with dark long hair. That was my kind of my hairstyle with a hat and a butterfly on the plastic bag. I was so amazed. You know what? I was filled with peace because for me, I knew that God has been protecting me all the time. And I was not worried. I was just filled with peace. And I've kept this plastic bag as a keepsake just to remember God's protection over me. Last year, I went to Singapore for a work conference. I didn't arrange any other meetings because um, I was just back from a very hectic business trip in the United States. Um, right next to my hotel, I met a counselor and I was actually in need of counseling at that time. So this counselor gave me two sessions of counseling, six hours in total, before and after my work conference. By the end of the counseling sessions, I saw a butterfly outside the window. And I told my counselor, you know, butterflies are very special to me. And then she said, you know what? I have two butterflies tattooed on my waist. And she said, there's nothing else. And there was a time in her life she loved butterflies. I just knew that we were destined to meet in Singapore. And a healing took place in Singapore for me. This year, I went to Taipei over Easter, just last month. 
I have some relatives in Taiwan. Unfortunately, my family in Hong Kong has been alienated from my Taiwanese family for some reason. But I decided to reconnect to them two years ago. I saw them on the last night of my trip and they gave me a lot of souvenirs. I brought back the souvenirs to my family in Hong Kong from Taiwan. Afterwards, I was walking on a very busy King's Road in North Point. As I was walking with lots of people passing by, I saw a stunning emerald butterfly drinking water on the ground. Actually, I do see butterflies a lot in Hong Kong. So I squatted down and you know, taking photos and videos of that beautiful green butterfly, which is now my WhatsApp profile picture, by the way. <laughs> and after 10 minutes, I thought, you know, that's enough. I'm going home. So I walked and I left. But interestingly, while I was leaving, the butterfly chased after me and started dancing in front of me. And I just knew that it was a divine connection between me and the butterfly. And, you know, I feel that the, butter, um, the bu butterfly is actually the spirit of my grandfather. And he's telling me that he's really pleased with my visits to Taiwan. Oh. So thanks for listening to my butterfly stories.